Hey, welcome back. I'm Jason Hardy, pitmaster with Elite Barbecue Smokers. Today, we're actually doing a product review. We're going to be talking about the meat stick. This is the Wi Fi Pro set here. It comes with the meat stick itself, it comes with the meat stick mini, and also comes with a bridge. I'll go through the whole process and talk to you about it. We're also going to show you some clips of when I used it during the cooks we've had to show you the process we went to activate it and different things. But I just want to kind of give you an idea of this product, kind of go the ins and outs of it. Uh, first off, I'm going to tell you this. They have sent me this product. They've not paid me to do this. So all these opinions are mine. They are mine and mine alone. Before we get into it, I really have been impressed with this unit. I'm going to tell you some of the pros we found out about it and probably a few cons we know about. But for the most part, I'm going to tell you, it's a jam-up unit. has done what it said it would do, and I've been impressed with it. really have. That being stated, let's go through the process. Like I said right here, this is the Wi-Fi Pro Set. What this means is I've got the Mini, I've got the meat stick itself, and I've got a bridge. So let's go through it here and let me open the box up and show what we got. So it comes with a great case. It's a good case here. You can protect all the items together. That way you don't have to lose anything. It's got this little divider in here. Um, it comes with a USB cord. This is the one I use here for the bridge. But you can get any adapter or whatever. But it comes with a USB cord. It comes with an antenna for this. Also got some stickers and some instructional manuals and stuff. I'll be put this sticker on something other if my show don't get it. But the way it works is you take this right here bridge. You put the antenna on it, and you basically just put it on there. You plug this into the power source. The indirect text uh, pellet smoker I'm using has got a plug in the back. It's pretty easy. If not, use drop cord. If that's not the case and you don't want to go that far from it, that's one beauty of this system here. It comes with these two probes, which it hooks to this through the Wi-Fi. But also got these two probes right here. So it comes with these two meat probes right here. This is the meat stick. This is the meat stick mini X right here. That's what this one is. Let's talk about the meat stick. This meat stick right here is made of stainless steel it's got a ceramic coating to it this right here can go up to 212 degrees this here can go up to excess of 500 i think 62 degrees what this right here does this is you insert in the meat you go all the way up to the black the sensor for this is right in this area right here it's not on the tip of it, it's right here in this general area is where it's at so you take this and you plug it into the meat you hook up yourself and you cook on your phone and i'll show a video right here in a few minutes of the whole process I went to the setup this and a boston butt cook so without the charger this meat stick right here has got a range of about six feet. With this charger, you get 260 feet. So I can sit this by my grill and then go anywhere within 260 feet and I can still read it on my phone. So I got an app set up on my phone. But that's, the, that's this process. The same thing goes with the mini. The mini right here, take it out st and stick it to meat within six feet, this will read your phone. With this repeater though, you can go 260 feet away and you still get signal to it. That way you can tell what you're cooking. Easy system to set up. This one, however, has got a maximum temperature of 185 degrees. That's the hot it gets. When you're doing some big meats like Boston butts and briskets, you get those high temp meats, this here won't quite go up that temperature. So this will be used more for your steaks, for your prime ribs, something you do kind of a medium rare and stuff. Now, this one's got an ambient temperature. The meat stick here reads the ambient temperature in the, the base of it right here. So it can tell you the grill. And it shows it on the graph on the app, which you'll see later on. And this is a really good idea to give you where you're cooking at. Especially if you're doing something other like on the PK grill or the Weber kettle. It's got a lot of hot zones and cold zones. This really gives you a really good idea of where you're cooking at, what temperature is at that location. The meat stick mini, it does not have that option. This one right here does only tells you temperature of the meat, which is fine for usually them primary or smaller cuts of meats. However, if you want to test out the temperature of the smoker to keep a track on it, you want to need to go with the meat stick itself. So now here's the beauty of this process. You can take both of these and plug them to your meat. Now, if you want to go anywhere else in the house, you got this right here bridge. Put the antenna on it, use the power source that come with you, hook to a USB drive. On my pellet smoker Rectech 1250, I got a plug on the back side of it so I can power this. So this will hook to the Wi-Fi in my house. So anywhere I'm getting a Wi-Fi signal, I can take these meat probes here, I can get temperature in my meat, and also with the meat stick, temperature in my smoker. That's an awesome process. It has a really good product. Using these products right here, I've cooked brisket, I've cooked Boston butts, I've cooked chicken, I've cooked steaks, um, pork loins, and all kinds of things. We have used this. I've put this in the refrigerator and let it stay overnight, and it was accurate to temperature on my refrigerator. It was off a degree, but it might have been the location it's at and airflow. I put one of these, I put this in the hot box, and I was able to keep a maintained temperature in my hot box, and it stayed correct for my other temperature gauges on there. Everything about this here, I've been impressed with it. The battery life is 24 hours on this, it's eight hours on the Mini X. I have proven that the 24 hours on this one works. This one here, I haven't done necessarily long enough cook that I needed that long time in here. They have been very successful in that. I've been impressed with them. When you get them, all you're gonna do is open up the back, 
put in some double-A batteries for the meat stick on a mini, slide it back, put in double-A batteries. And the charge is then charges the batteries inside the meat stick mini and the meat stick itself, and this gives you battery life. Great products. I cannot argue with them. They've really done a good job of everything I expect them to do. These products here can be used whenever you're doing a low smoke, smoking Boston butts and brisket that we were already talked about. They can be using sous vide. They also say this process right here, the meat stick itself, they also say this meat stick can be used for deep frying. I have not done that. Don't necessarily think I will do that. However, they say it will do that, so I have nothing to discredit them for that. These products right here is dishwasher safe. You can take this product right here and put it in the dishwasher. You can also take this right here and put it in sous vide. Now sous vide is something we're definitely going to use, and I actually plan to use this uh, meat stick right here for the sous vide itself. Most times sous vide is a long period of time, so it'll really give it a run for the money for the battery. But so far what we've seen is stood up to that claim. They're great products, easy to use here. And like I said, I'll show you a clip right now of me taking this product right here, putting the Boston button, going through the process, and kind of give you a re review on that. So stick around, let's get that clip going, and I'll be right back. Now because this meat stick right here, you gotta insert it all the way up into the end of the meat. Go through the thickest part, you get all the way to the black point. So I'm gonna come in here, I got my bone right here, my roast here. I'm gonna come right in this area, I'm gonna push it all the way in. That's what we're looking for right there. So when I cook it, I'm gonna cook it with my fat cap down, and therefore it's gonna be inside that Boston butt like that. Now, let's put these bad boys on the grill. Let's get this party started. We're gonna set up a cook right here. Set up my cook. I'm gonna scroll down until I hit smoke. I'm gonna scroll here and pick pork. I come over here, I'm gonna do pulled. I'm gonna set my target temperatures up here. I'm gonna set it to about 165 degrees, give or take. And then I'm gonna set my ambient temperature to 225. Direct tech 1250 is set for 275, so we should be good. We're gonna hit next. Let's send this here to the meat stick. Sinking it with the cloud. And we're gonna start cooking. So now it's got the whole process. And it shows a graph and the ambient temperature, everything. But before we do that, I'm gonna hook up the bridge. So first I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna hook up the bridge. So one thing about the Rectech 1250 here, it's got a plug in the back for accessory plug. And it's really nice. So I'm gonna put the little power cord in here. I'm gonna plug the power into this. It's booting up. You can see it. It's got an internal temperature of the fire. It's got an internal temperature of the Boston butt. You can see it going right now. This right here is the ambient temperature. That thing was cold, so it's coming up temperature. That's what that there is reading is the ambient temperature. This here is reading temperature inside the Boston butt. So that's what we got. We're gonna keep checking on this here, but this has got a good process. It tells me how long it's been cooking. It tells me the remaining time I put a timer on it. It's got a lot of good features into it, but I really do like this graph right here at the bottom. It can tell me what my meat's temperature is and what ambient temperature is in the smoker. So it goes up and down, I can get pretty good variance on there. So that being stated, we're gonna keep cooking. Be back in a few minutes, give you a heads up where we at. Keep checking on it, so see you in a few. All right, so our Boston butts are ready here, but let's look, look over the graph. As you can see right here, the blue line's coming up, that's the ambient temperature. The orange line is the temperature of the Boston butts themselves. And then you see the time elapsed is six hours and 13 minutes. Temperature's at 209. Internal temperature of ambient's 225, 226. Had to say I've been impressed with the meat stick. It's done a very good job, it's been consistent. The alarms went off when it needed to go off, so I'm pretty good. I'm gonna probe it and see where we are. 208, probe 209, it said 208, 209. That's what the probe said, so it's dead on. I'm gonna set them off and set them in this pan right here. So, so far I can say, the meat stick, I recommend it. I think it's a dang good unit. I think it does what it says it's gonna do. The ease of its work, I've been happy with it, I have to say. So as you see in that clip here, you've seen how simple this process was. You've seen how simple this is to set up. You've seen the alarms it had. What this product really and truly does, it makes it very easy to monitor temperature. So now with all that being stated, I will recommend this to anybody in the world. I'll tell you this is one heck of a unit, so please check it out and use it. So let's go over a few downsides. And that's not necessarily a downside that's limited just to the meat stick. But because of the way the wireless and stuff is set up in there, this probe, the thickness here is thick. So if you're doing something other than you want the pictures for the Instagram shots or you want the photo, Facebook pictures or videos, whatever, understand when you use this right here number, you're gonna have that hole into it. So keep that in mind here. So that'd be the biggest quarrel I have is just the size of this meat probe itself. 
However, it's not limited to this one. I, there's some competitors out there that have the same problem. So in closings, I'll say this right here. I recommend this unit wholeheartedly without a shadow of a doubt. You get this unit, you'll be as happy with it as I am. It's easy to use, great for presents, great for Father's Day gifts uh, or Mother's Day gifts because there's a lot of women out there cooking too. So truly, truly, I'd say get this product and you will not be sorry for it. The graphing system they have on here, it just makes this kind of a step above for what I've seen and I appreciate it. So I have all the information for this product down below in the links below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. If you got questions, we'll answer them just as promptly as possible. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. If you got comments about how this works different for you, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. So that being stated, we can go outside, get ready to start cooking something else, and have a good day. Keep cooking. And that's a wrap, boys and girls. Yep, it's a